Moments with his head down inside the courtroom, defendant Patrick Yanga is sentenced to serve 10 years in the Department of Corrections prison. Yanga is convicted of second degree criminal sexual conduct. It was now two and a half years ago. The child, only 12 at the time, told police that she woke up to find Yanga molesting her. The abuse happening twice. Ahead of learning his fate today, Assistant Attorney General Basil O'Malley read a statement from the child's mother. Honestly, I think that my life, as well as victim's life, will be scarred forever. I don't know what else to say, but we will just seek out for the best help and counseling we can find to get, to get through it. Because as far as him being sentenced, I don't think that 3 to 15 years is enough, even to be with even enough to be with for him to be sentenced because victim will have to live with what happened to her for the rest of her life. Defense attorney Peter Santos making the argument for the court to show younger leniency. Not wanting to diminish what happened, um, just to, I guess, reiterate that in the grand scheme of things, um, it, that there have been far, far more egregious um, things that, that this court has, has seen uh, with respect to criminal sexual conduct. Um, it was a uh, incident that occurred, well, there were two incidents, but they occurred relatively uh, within a short span of each other, and it wasn't a prolonged uh, pattern of abuse. And so it, it was a, it was two incidents, but it was really, you know, short in time and it was addressed. Yanga will register as a level one sex offender and will serve three years parole once he gets out. Judge Vernon Perez speaking to Yanga during the hearing. You will be mindful about what the law expects of you. Um, to have something similar happen is going to be a great challenge for you. But uh, the court appreciates uh, that you didn't have any problems. That's why I extended you credit uh, on the sentence. And it's my hope that, that you will come out uh, again, a man completely convinced that to break the law in this fashion is completely not appropriate for Any questions? No, Your Honor. All right. Yanga was allowed to walk free to handle his personal affairs. He will self-surrender to the prison on February 1st.